Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have this instrument panel to take apart that was removed from the Lockheed P3 Orion. I'm not exactly sure what system this was used to control on the aircraft, but I'm thinking it's part of the surveillance system. You can see on the back here, our tag says it's a recorder amplifier made by Electronic Systems Incorporated. We have some nice connectors on the back. The two outside ones have coax connectors on them. We have a spare fuse here. And here we have the main fuse, which I believe is a 5 amp fuse. This is like a selector switch here. Same thing here. Uh, we have like a power switch here. I believe these here are indicator lights, the one and two, and they should unscrew. And I believe they have a little light bulb. We have two gauges here. You can see that the glass is shattered, unfortunately. Um, under these things here are the back lights so that the writing lights up. You can see it's like a little screw on light bulb. Unfortunately, all of these lights are bad. I tested them with a multimeter and I've tried powering them on, but, but they are burnt out. To take the cover off, we have to take out these two screws and this third one on the top here. And we just give these like a quarter of a turn. And then we can take the cover off. All right, so here's what we got on the inside. You can see we have five circuit board cards and all of them appear to be exactly the same. We have some capacitors down here that are mounted on the metal here with standoffs. We have a resistor here and a capacitor. And this component here is a diode. Here's the wiring on the back of the panel. You can see we have random components kind of soldered on. Here's the bottom of it. We can see all the wiring here. We have our wiring harness here, which connects to the connectors that go to the five different cards. And you can see only the middle pins on this big connector are used. There's still a few more pins on this one that's not used. And same with this one. You can see here's our fuse where it connects. Here you can see the connections to the switches and dials on the front. You can see um, here's this switch here. You can see that the contact moves. These are the back sides of the potentiometers. This is the light bulb holder here. If you look closely right here, we have a component that has three wires going to it that is screwed on to the aluminum frame. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It kind of looks like a diode, but it has three wires on it, so I don't think it's a diode. Here is the black case of the gauges here. You can see we have a few wires connected to it. All right, next I'm going to pull out these circuit board cards. These have the same kind of fasteners as the case. You just give them a quarter turn. And they pull out like this. You can see these have really heavy conformal coating on them. Very old style PCB. We have some resistors up here. We have these capacitors. We also have this capacitor. We have lots of transistors. These transistors have a date code of 1969 and 1970. I was able to find the data sheet for these transistors, 
These transistors are actually germanium PNP transistors. Germanium transistors became obsolete decades ago before they switched to a more reliable construction method which used silicon. We have this large ground plane all around the circuit board here. Some of the resistors are connected to it. So you can see this is a very old style of hand traced PCB. All right, let's get the other four out. All right, so here's all the cards. You can see that all of them are exactly the same. There is not a single difference between them. Maybe each of these is processing its own channel of data or something. I'm not exactly sure since I can't really find information about this uh, piece. All right, so here's what it looks like with all the cards taken out. You can see we have a few wires going down here. Here's the back again. Unfortunately, this is not as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought there would be more in it because of the high frequency connectors here. Alright guys, so that's about it for this video. I hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching.